So many golfers struggle on hitting through the golf ball and it can have direct effects to your ball striking and of course your overall golf. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to Get Good at Golf on this channel. We aim to help you get good at golf every single day. So if you want to do that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Today we're talking about hitting through the golf ball and that's something which you may not hear that often. People always think I'm going to hit the ball, I'm going to hit at the ball, I'm going to just try and make contact with the ball. But realistically, if you're trying to hit better iron shots, I want to make sure that you're actually hitting through the golf ball, just like that shot there. You'll see that shot's not moved much in the air. It's straight at my target line. And the reason why I've done that is because I've hit successfully through the ball. So what does that actually mean? Because I want to think about how to strike that golf ball better or consistently better. If I'm going to strike through the ball, it has to start from the beginning. It has to start from the takeaway. So if I take the club away with my upper body, this is something that isn't new to you guys that get good at golf. If you're a subscriber, you'll know. Take the club away with your shoulders. Then once the club's parallel to the ground, we're going to load up to the top of the backswing. When I'm loaded up to the top of the backswing, you'll hear my voice change pitch a little bit and I'm struggling to speak as much because I've coiled against my lower body. I've separated the upper body and lower body, which is a perfect thing to do. You shouldn't be able to have a, if I get to the top of the backswing here, I shouldn't be able to have a successful conversation with you because you can see here, we've not coiled properly. We've not loaded properly. And my weight's still pretty much 50, 50. If I'm going to do this properly, my weight is now 60, 65% on my right side. From there, I want to make sure I transfer that to my left side. Again, this is nothing new, but bear with me because I want to make sure we cover every base. I'm going to now rotationally move that weight into my left foot. So you'll see my hips start to rotate nicely and clear out. The hips clear out so that I can then get square with the ball. I get forward shaft lean and you'll see my hands are now moving where my hips have disappeared from. If I don't do that, the hands work up this way. And that's when you start to hit shots that Gary Martin would hit. None of us want to do that. So... We're going to make sure that as we go through the ball, I'm thinking about club face angle. I'm thinking about wrist angles. It's really simple. So stay with us. And if I now load to the top, like we said, and then make sure that I get through the ball, you'll see again, that's directly at the target. This is a par three. I'm hoping one of these might be close. Actually, we've not had a hole in one for the last 12 months, which is a rarity for me because usually we have one at least. But generally what we're trying to do here now is think about what is this club face doing? Not only through impact, but after impact. Because after impact is obviously a byproduct of what's happened already, which is why at the start of this video, I wanted to make sure you're ticking all these boxes perfectly. Now we're thinking about being through the ball. What happens when I'm through the ball? I want to make sure that not only is that club face extending out, so I don't want to feel as though that club face is really close to me. You might feel this in a bunker or a pitch shot where you're trying to really control that club for a proper shot where we're hitting through the ball because you've now got your weight on your left foot that's helping you generate the strike ball then turf contact from here that club continues to extend continues to rotate and you'll see that actually that club face isn't pointing to the sky it isn't pointing this way with the loft pointing at me it's mimicking my spine angle so you may have noticed right at the start of this video we were trying to get that club face square to the spine angle with the leading edge. Once you go through impact, it's no different. It mirrors that movement here. It's extending out. My chest is projecting towards the target. I'm now posted on that left side. The left foot's nice and straight or the left leg's nice and straight. We're not down here this way. And that's generally how you can see I've hit some really consistent shots here. This is a short iron, but I always think missing the green or missing the target with a short iron is more annoying than missing it with a long iron because you expect to hit the target with this club. Let's go three for three. And let's see what happens when you hit successfully through the golf ball. That's three bang straight shots. You'll see that I'm now pointing towards my target. I haven't moved backwards. I haven't lost my center of gravity here. If you hit through the ball properly, I guarantee you'll hit better iron shots. You'll enjoy your golf a lot more and hopefully you'll lower that handicap. And one of the big things you'll see there, guys, is the consistency of dispersion. I've hit those pretty straight. One of them's actually spun back off the green, but realistically, front to back dispersion and side to side dispersion, that's what you want to be doing with your short irons. If you can hit through the ball, you'll definitely make more birdies. Unless you put, like Gary Martin, then you might not. <laughs> 